like an allergic reaction or something. Um, yeah, it's Sunday today, so I decided to do a lazy Sunday vlog just to show you guys little bits and bobs from our home, um, a walk in Vilna, so it's gonna be a super chill day and I wanted to make a cozy vlog for you to watch. Rakos is currently at a grocery shop getting some fresh croissants and uh, eggs and whatnot. We invited my mother-in-law for brunch so she's coming over and we love, love, love doing weekend breakfast or brunches where we lay the table, you know, I'll put some candles on, flowers. It's just those little things that we love doing um, so much. So he, the, I think the last time he did like little croissant sandwiches with an egg and some cheese in them. So I said, could you do those again? They were so good. So. He's gonna make the brunch. I'm gonna help him out, but now I'm gonna do my skincare. My skin, I would say, is really good at the moment. Like, I don't have any breakouts, it's doing well. And um, I think some of it is down to having very minimal skincare routine, not overloading. Um, this is what works for me anyway, not overloading my skin with too many products. So I've been using and loving road products. They are scentless. They're like super simple, basic products, good ingredients. They make your skin super glowy and hydrated. So I am absolutely in love um, with these. But I got a few new products. I also swear by um, acid toners and um, we were using... <laughs> Brock has got into using acid toners as well. He's like, where's our toner? Um, yeah, we used up our caudalie and um, I can't remember, we had another one. And I tried lots of different acid toners and there are lots of really good ones. I remember really loving Biologique Recherche P50, but I also really like Pixie Glow Tonic. So I went and got a small bottle of it and then another small, so, since Glow Toner, they have released a couple other um, toners, like Vitamin C one, Retinol Toner, Milky Toner, Rose Water Toner. So yeah, I got these two. Now I haven't tried the Vitamin C one before. And I used it a couple of days ago and my skin was baby soft. When I tell you that um, toners, like acid toners, um, this one has vitamin C, ferulic acid. They really change the texture of your skin. Rokas is bad. Like your skin becomes so soft, it's incredible. And I also got a little gift with purchase, which is rose tonic. So this is just a no nourishing toner, which, you know, I'll use up, but I prefer acid toners. And you can use these every single day. So they leave your skin so soft. It's just incredible. So uh, I'm gonna do the vitamin C one this morning. It, the scent is kind of weird. It smells like a cleaning product, a lemony cleaning product. But oh my God, I love it. And I also need to try their retinol toner, but they only had the, the full size one and I wanted these small ones just to sample. So today I'm not going to use my road product because I also recently got this one from Peo. This is Hydra 24 Creme Glace. When I saw it I was like this is something that I need, super lightweight and hydrating, um, and like something that plumps your skin. I tried it and I was like whoa, like I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera what it does to your skin, but your skin is like so juicy after using this. Like honestly, if you want something, it's super, super hydrating, but gel-like, then I definitely recommend it. So I would say this is great for the summer when you don't want any like super rich creams. Okay, I need to do my skincare here because it's way better light. I don't know if you can't, you cannot tell the glow. Hmm. 
But yeah, it's just maybe it doesn't transfer on camera, but it leaves your skin super super glowy. I follow up with an SPF. This is a La Roche Posay Effaclar Duo with SPF 30. Um, okay, not gonna wear any makeup. Maybe later in the day, but definitely not now. And my road peptide lip treatment. I'm actually, I have three, all of the, well, she has released uh, passion fruit, so I don't have that one, but I have the three original flavors. And I'm running out of these already because I use them all the time. I think these are the best lip balm. I do love my Laneige one and I still use it every morning and evening. And then to finish off, I'm gonna apply my Margiela Replica Lazy Sunday Morning fragrance because it's perfect for this mood. And then I'm gonna go get dressed and help rock us out with our brunch. So yeah, just wanted to share a simple skincare routine because it's, it's usually just this. Look at my little seedlings. So these will be zinnias, these colorful zinnias, and they have sprouted already. Um, this is panic grass. There are nowhere to be seen yet. Sweet peas. Um, here I've got nasturtiums, two different kinds because I love nasturtiums. Um, we'll have to wait a little longer for them to germinate. And then in here, some more nasturtiums. Right here, we've got some red sunflowers. I've never seen these before. So we had a really lovely brunch. It was so delicious. Rakas is really good at making yummy food. Um, we played some card games. I'm sorry, I didn't sound asleep. Um, yeah, and now uh, Rakas went to the gym. I'm going to have some me time as well. It's super sunny today, so I don't want to stay home. I'm going to a coffee shop to enjoy some coffee in the sunshine, sit outside and read my book because I haven't picked up any books um, in the past couple of months and I really want to, I love reading and uh, it's sad when you end up prioritizing other things and uh, you know, sometimes I'm just scrolling on my phone before going to sleep instead of reading um, a couple of chapters. Always mad at myself for not reading more and I'm gonna read this book. I think I talked about it before. No one belongs here more than you. Stories by Miranda July. I've read only three 
and they were so incredibly good and also I don't want to read it too fast because it's that good I want to enjoy every bit of this book so I'm gonna yeah have my coffee today is the last sort of calm stress-free day when I can just take um, some time to you know relax and enjoy myself June will be so hectic starting from Tuesday I have a meeting with H&M that I'm going to like a Mm, little girls retreat with Lindex for a couple of days then I'm back uh, we've got an Umi wedding in Kona Sorokas and I are going to you know decorate that and it's gonna be pretty stressful because it's not a big wedding but lots of decor there um, then we're back to Vilnius and going straight to Nida for a couple of days then to Klaipeda then back to Vilnius another really big wedding um, in Vilnius then I'm flying to Milan for a couple of days from Milan we're going Auxe, uh, Chloe her friend and another girl we're going on a work trip with a brand to the south of France uh, for a few days and then I'm flying back to Lithuania and we're going to the seaside for a couple of weeks with Rokas so it's gonna be like moving and things and um, yeah pr uh, a super intense month I think it will go by like this um, the first month of summer so I want to do my best to enjoy summer as much as possible and yeah once Rokas is back from the gym we're going um, on a nice walk in a park with Dorian not wearing any makeup today because as I said my skin is feeling good and glowy so I just want, want my skin to breathe I just applied my lip liner and Road uh, lip balm and I'm gonna apply a little bit of uh, Rosie's Rose Ink blush in Azalea. This has become my favorite blush of all time. I honestly love it so much and you need a tiny amount although it looks like a scary color you know in the pan like it's not a blush I would normally pick up but when you blend it out it just looks like the most natural thing like you're naturally flushed yeah it just makes me look more alive and i apply it on my nose as well so that's the only thing i'm putting on my skin today <sighs> so yeah off i go i'm gonna show you guys my outfit wearing something super simple but very me um i'm gonna wear these vintage sunglasses i got at portobello road market in notting hill they're vintage Sisley glasses and the guy was so nice and I think they're so beautiful. I love the color, I love the shape. Yeah, they're my absolute favorite sunglasses at the moment. And this handbag, my Manu Atelier handbag. It's the best handbag purchase. Like it's the only bag I wear now. I do wear my, no, actually that's not true. I do uh, wear my Pollen Sim tote. But it's super big, so it's when I'm carrying more stuff. This is like when I'm not taking too many things with me. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, so if you guys are interested in these bags, because I um, I got some questions on Instagram, whether it's scratches, how's the quality. So if you want, I can do like a separate video on the bag maybe, like a review. Because yeah, it's definitely my favorite. Taking my book, my phone. Um, and yeah, off we go. As I said, I'm gonna show you my outfit and then um, let's go to the coffee shop with me. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing today. Um, my little t-shirt is H&M, just a simple ribbed white um, t-shirt. The belt is an old H&M men's leather belt. The blazer is vintage men's and the trousers are vintage as well. I've had them for a few years and they're some of my absolute favorite trousers ever. They're like dark brown wide leg trousers. Um, the glasses I just mentioned, the bag as well. I'm all different shades of brown today. Um, and then my shoes are Wandler, can't remember the name of these, but I'll link them below. They're like slip on shoes. So that's me today. It's a very me look, I have to say. 
I'm super comfortable, but like pretty simple, classic, classic me look. Anyway, off I go. We're back from the park and we're off to grab a beer and to end our Sunday evening. This is our favorite, one of our favorite places in Vilnius. If you're ever here, it's called Amy Wine House because it is mostly a wine place. It's beautiful. This is our late night meal, Bertinuke, with um, some Greek yogurt and homemade um, banana and plum jam. This is a massive portion for August. Actually, I made too much. Hopefully he'll be able to eat it. I'm also making my flower order for the upcoming wedding, which is next week. Um, so yeah, kind of doing a little bit of work on Sunday night. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. We'll watch a French movie called Someone Somewhere. Um, while eating. And uh, hope you enjoyed it, this lazy Sunday vlog. And um, I'll see you soon.